things in strange ways and people do not know this. Few people think Bharatma Shambhava is a Buddhist. So definitely he was not a Buddhist, not a Vodhya monk. Who did things in strange ways and uh, some of them who traveled with me, we went to Bharatma Shambhava cave. Even Padma Shambhava is a Buddhist because uh, Tibetan Buddhism is enshrined. No, I don't, I, no, what, what's he saying? Is he saying that, um, that you know, Buddha is not a Buddhist? Yeah. So on that level, is he talking about Guru Mbuchi, Padma Shambhava is not a Buddhist? I don't think so much. Because how do you define a Buddhist? Someone who follows Amicha, Buddha, right? Yeah. You know, clearly, all the Buddhism which is teaching is Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Now, Dr. Shambhu always carried a trident in his hand. He is not a Buddhist monk. He had two wives one Indian wife and one either Nepali or Tibetan wife. What is the trouble? So, if you, if you are holding a trident, you you have two wives. You're not a monk, you're and you're not a Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think? I actually many, many people think that if you are Buddhist, you have to be a monk or a nun. Mm. I think that exists with a lot of people. I don't know somehow. I don't know where people got the judge, this idea. Yeah. I mean, Ruji, popular representation of Buddha Dharma in media, photos. Yeah. You know, Thailand. You know, Buddhist country, monks walking, you know, people offering. It's kind of so, you know, that is a very strong image. Because there's a lot of lay Buddhists. Yeah. Not just, you know, common, yeah. but even the very, very revered ones. I mean, Goenkaji's master was lay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all of them. Yeah. And how about the tragedy business? I think he's trying to equate. Padma Samhava doing these things to be some sort of Shaiva yogi or something like that. Because in India it's very common to yeah. see sadhus with Chinese. trident. Right? And his exposure I think to Buddhist history of Mahasiddhas and but even your big shoes, right? In certain ceremonies. They carry the thing yeah, the stars. I think the trident is, you know, like a Buddhist tantra. Okay. Oh, that's a, yes. There's a lot of There's a lot of other entities. Weaponry, is it? Yeah. Both of them traveled with him wherever he went, always with a trident. So definitely. And about the what? Having two wives? Yeah, that's right. Actually, Guru which is known for sometimes having five consorts. I don't know why he. Wife is not a. <laughs> yeah. But um, again, I think. Um, I think, you know, as we were talking, just because you're Buddhist doesn't mean that you are not supposed to marry. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I think that's what he's implying, right? Yeah. That is, he's not a monk. These are the sort of tick boxes. Buddhists should only have one wife. Some renunciate thing, you see. Buddhists yeah. have to be renunciates, and when you renunciate, you have to give up worldly life. So you I don't mean, do these things. Siddhartha left the palace, wife, That's child. That's why it becomes a very clear energy. Buddhism and renunciate are like always put together and renunciate in terms of behavior, worldly life kind of thing. So those palas, guptas, kings, they had a lot of wives. Yeah. And then those Chinese emperors, they must have had a lot of converts, right? Yeah. Um, it was not a Buddhist, not a worthy monk. He's a completely different kind. So these are lands where he traveled and lived on, well, probably in his later age, I don't know exactly, but probably in his later age, he settled in Tibet, or he stayed there for some time and came back to the Gangetic Plain in his later age, the various, uh, you know, uh, beliefs, accounts of this, but uh, essentially, he's a mystic. Who did the no, I never heard the word mystic. What does this mean? Is this equivalent to like... Is Buddha... 
in Gujarati mystic? Probably not. In what does mystic mean? I, I feel it's very Christian, very European. I mean, it connotes a mystery, which of course you would qualify as a mystic, like many other. The Buddha. No. Guru Yeah. Yeah. Mystic also is generally more the mainstream kind of people. No, they don't belong to like an order or a sect. They don't have any kind of prescribed divine. Yeah. That kind of mystic. So Gupta, I think, was mm -hmm. Or like Siddha or something yes. like that. He was a Gupta, Siddha, so he's not Buddhist. 